Thanks for tuning in to another practice with us. Uh, today's practice is going to again continue on some of the foundational work we've been building in the last few Invigorate classes over the last couple weeks. Um, but we'll be switching some of our focus from purely hip opening into a combination of some hip opening as well as twisting. So we will be focusing more on the outer hip and the back of the hip um, as well as moving into the spine and the shoulder girdle. So for today's practice we do recommend having a, a st strap or a towel or a tie. It does not need to be looped up. Um, this will just help for some postures at the end as well as perhaps a block to help with some supportive uh, structures of standing postures. So go ahead and make your space. Let's take just a moment and I'd like you to go ahead and start just in a comfortable seated posture. Sukhasana. Either leg crossed forward, right hand onto the navel, eyes closed. If you, of course, if you're using music, you are welcome to start that at any time. Let the shoulders relax. Let the spine be long. And take just a moment to tune into the very natural rhythm of your own breathing. No need to manipulate or to change. I'd like you just to notice just to sense and feel your breathing. What is it giving you this morning or this afternoon? Now place the left hand on the chest at the heart center or just below the collarbone. Coming into that rhythm of breath, I'd like you to welcome some longer inhalations and exhalations. Breathe deep into the base of the belly and let that breath expand all the way into the top hand of the heart. And exhale, feel the whole chest pull back in. Every inhale, deeper breath, more expansion. Slow release as you exhale. Bring the palms together at heart center. Let the chin drop down. Let yourself set an intention or simple dedication. Why are you on your mat at this moment? What do you need? What can this practice give you? Release the hands. Open the eyes. Take your right leg and swing it back behind you in a simple 90 degree, 90 degree. We'll begin with just some gentle warm ups in the hip. So nothing crazy here. First few postures are just designed to help I'll warm up and find some structures of the body. Fingertips to earth, press the back knee down and the outside of the front knee down. Keep the head and the spine stacked, the navel in, and if all feels well, open the arms to a T shape. If this is too much, please place the hands back down to earth. Simple internal rotation of your right leg, Simple external rotation of your left leg. Hands come down. Slide the right leg forward. Cross the right leg in front. Slide left leg into a 90 degree, 90 degree position. Again, a couple moments as you look to the legs, make sure now your left leg is the internal rotation, pressing the inner thigh down. And right leg in external rotation, press the outer thigh down. Stack the spine and the head. And once you've found your setup, you can keep fingertips to earth or start to lift the arms back up into that T position, finding just a little bit of balance. Another round or two of breath here. And then simply release the hands down, slide the back leg forward, cross the legs again in a simple sukhasana uh, position once more. And then fold the chest over your left leg, reach the arms out. Send the right arm out a little bit longer than your left. Use the hands in the earth like you're steering the ground to the right. Fold the ribs over the left thigh. Relax the nape of the neck. Breathe across the back of the ribs. Inhale, walk it back through center. You can cross opposite leg if that feels all right. 
Turn and now fold over the right thigh. Reach the left arm out a little bit longer. Feel a little bit of space in the back side of the ribs. With a lot of twisting today, it'll be important to create as much space as we can in the side and the back of the body. That's where you'll find your most expansion while we compress in the front body. Another breath. And then simply walk the hands back to center. And then from Sukhasana, we're just gonna shift easy table pose. And then go ahead and lift your hips, find downward facing dog. Now we are gonna do a series of low lunges just to warm up the legs. If your knees respond better to low lunging with a cushion, feel free to grab a blanket or a towel, place it in the middle of your mat. Take just a couple rounds of breath here and down dog, stretch out the legs. We're gonna get into the back and the sides of the legs here in just a moment. But take a second just to smooth out your inhalation and exhalation and down dog. Bring attention to the very top of the leg. And imagine you're almost pulling the top of the leg apart a little bit. Create a stretch on the outer thigh. Now from downward facing dog, I'd like you to bend just your left knee. Reach the right heel down toward the earth. And then spin the right heel diagonal to the left, like you're turning your right toes about 45 degrees diagonal to the right. Send your left ribs back toward the left thigh. Keep the hips tall. Pull back through the right thigh bone. Come on back to center. Switch. Bend your right knee. Sink the left heel straight back. And then spin the left heel diagonal in toward the back center of your yoga mat. Get a stretch of the outer left thigh. Imagine you're pulling the mat with your left hand forward and away from you, pulling your left hip back in the opposite direction. And then simply unwind. Take an inhale, stretch the right leg into the air, one-legged dog pose. Step the right foot forward into your lunge. Lower the back knee. I'd like you to come up into a low lunge, but make your legs more of a 90 degree, 90 degree. So you're bringing the head over ribs, ribs over hips. Pull the left hip bone forward and up, and then release the hands down. Simply step back into down dog. Take a second. And inhale, stretch the left leg up. Step it on through, find your lunge. Lower the back knee, 90, 90 degree lunge. Inhale, lift the arms, spine is tall, front hip point pulls forward and up, front ribs pull to the back of your body. Exhale, hands down. Step it on back into down dog. And down dog, shift the body forward, come to plank pose, make the body strong. Lower all the way to the floor. Simple cobra. Inhale, bend the elbows, pull the shoulders back, draw the chest up. Exhale, back down. Tuck toes, push back up, down dog. Couple breaths here. Inhale, stretch the right leg up and into the air. Exhale, step the foot through to lunge. Keep your back knee lifted, sweep your arms up. Let's go to crescent pose. Again, front ribs in, arms high. Exhale, circle the hands down, step it on back, down dog, hips high. Inhale, stretch the left leg into the air. Step the foot through, find lunge. Lift the arms up to the ceiling, find crescent pose, moment here. Lengthen the back body, pull the front hip points up, lower the hands down. Step back to down dog. Inhale, rock the body forward, nice strong plank pose. Lower to the ground. Inhale, tone the thighs, build cobra or build to your first upward facing dog, lifting the thighs and the hip points, gaze forward, heart up. Exhale, back in a down dog. Moment or two here in downward facing dog, breathe.
find the tiptoe, switch your gaze forward, step it on up to the top of your yoga mat, take your time. Come to a halfway lift, send the chest forward, lengthen your spine, fold on the exhale. Rise to standing, reach the arms up and overhead, lengthen your tailbone down to your heels, hands to heart center. Now we're going to prepare the body for a nice flow here, Surya Namaskar A, couple rounds from the top of your mat. Inhale, arms are going to lift overhead, reach up, look up, forward fold, come on down, gaze down. Halfway lift, heart up, head up, simply step to plank pose, take an inhalation, come down half or all the way to the floor. Inhale, cobra or up dog, and exhale back into down dog. Couple rounds of breath here in downward facing. Gaze in between the knees or the thighs. Locate your biceps and elbow creases. Imagine spinning them toward the top of your mat. Don't force it, just have the intention. Inhale to the tiptoes, switch your gaze forward. Step it up to the top of your yoga mat. Come right to halfway lift. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, rise to stand, reach the arms overhead, hands to heart. Second round, inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, gaze up. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Step or hop it back, lower down, Chaturanga, Cobra or up dog, downward facing dog. Five rounds of breath. Focus your attention on the sound and the sensation of your breathing. Keep your mind to where you are on your yoga mat. This truly is the hardest part of practice, staying with your body, with your breath. Find the tiptoes and look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold. Rise to standing, gaze up to your hands. Hands to heart, exhale. Inhale, arms are going to lift, reach up. Exhale, forward bend. Halfway lift, look forward. Plant your hands, step or float back. Inhale, rise. And exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breaths here. Commit firmly into your hands. Soften your heart to your thighs, keep the low belly in. One or two more deep rounds of breath. And then come to the tiptoes, exhale it out, look forward. Step or float to the top of your mat, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale, rise to standing, reach the arms up, gaze up, hands to heart center. We're going to take a variation on our Dancing Warrior Namaskar. So from the top of your mat, we're going to start in an Utkatasana, chair pose. Drop the hips, bend your knees, gaze up, you can keep it soft this first round. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, look forward, plant your hands. Step or jump back, Chaturanga. Inhale, rise, lift the heart. And exhale back into downward facing dog. From down dog, inhale, raise the right leg. Step the foot in between your hands to lunge. Inhale, lift up crescent pose. Now interlace your hands, turn and press your palms up to the ceiling, even between your thumbs and pinkies. Strengthen your legs, side bend to your right. Then come out of your side bend. Hold, lift your hips, spin your back heel down, open up your stride to warrior two. Flip your right palm, take an inhale into reverse warrior reach back. Exhale, side angle, forearm to thigh, reach left arm in a side bend overhead. Inhale back to warrior two, look forward, hands to the ground, chaturanga, one maybe legged all the way down. Inhale, rise. Downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, left leg lifts. 
Exhale, step the foot through, pause, find crescent. Inhale, interlace your hands. Turn and press your palms up to the ceiling. Side bend over to your left. Take a moment here, put your weight in your front leg as you side bend. Open your outer ribs. Take your chest all the way back up. Lift your hips, turn and open, warrior two. Flip the left palm, inhale and reverse your warrior reach back. Float it forward, side angle, reach right arm up and overhead, bottom arm is light. Inhale, warrior two, hands to the ground, step it back, chaturanga, maybe a one-legged. Inhale, rise, downward facing dog, exhale. Moment to breathe, second round. Inhale, right leg is going to lift. Step it forward, find your lunge. Lift to crescent. Interlace the hands, exhale. Inhale, turn and press. Side bend on the breath out. Inhale, come up, turn open, warrior two, exhale. Reverse, breathe in, reach up. Side angle, exhale, reach all the way forward. Inhale, warrior two. Hands down, chaturanga. Exhale, rise, inhale, down dog, exhale, last one, inhale, left leg lifts, step forward, find your stride, rise to crescent, interlace, breathe out, breathe in, stretch the arms straight up, side bend on the exhale, inhale, lift up, turn open, warrior two. Inhale, lift the left arm. Exhale, side angle, reach up. Inhale, warrior two. Hands down, step back, vinyasa. Lift the chest, downward facing dog. Deep breaths and down dog. Do the work to regulate your breathing pattern. Slow down the inhale and exhale as needed. Find your tiptoes and switch your gaze forward. Exhale completely, step or hop, halfway lift. Fold and release. Utkatasana, chair pose. Bend the knees, drop the hips, weight toward the heels, lift the gaze. And then come to standing hands, return at your sides. Step the feet a little bit wider apart, a little wider than your hips, almost to your mat. Padahastasana, bend your knees, slide your hands underneath the feet. So you can go fingertips or uh, best you can get your palms underneath your feet. And as you exhale, bend the elbows and fold in. If this posture is too much, hamstrings are um, kind of talking at you here. Take the hands out, catch a hold on to either the big toe or the ankle or the back of the calf. We're looking for a forward fold here to help regulate some of the breath. Calm yourself down for a moment. If you are standing on your hands, imagine you're trying to pull the hands out from underneath the feet. Last couple breaths here. Maybe a little bit of a deeper fold in. Now lift your chest, release your hands. Bend your knees out wide, malasana yogic squat. Take a second here if you need to readjust the hips, roll out the wrist, just enjoy a simple hip opener here. And then we're going to prepare for a vinyasa, so you can simply plant the hands, step back to chaturanga, or shift, jump back, and find your vinyasa. We'll all meet in down dog. Alright, so working some of our standing postures here, yogis, lift the right leg. Now bring the right ankle forward toward your left wrist like pigeon. Inhale, reach it back up. Do it again. Bring it forward like a pigeon pose and hover. Inhale, reach the leg back up. 
and then bring it forward, hover, and then lift the leg back up. Step the foot forward, find your lunge. And then feel the weight in the legs, lift up crescent pose again. Take a second to find your balance and press and pose. Get up high on your back tiptoes. Scoop the left hip forward and up. All right, we're going to prepare for a twist and a side bend. Right thumb is going to come into your right hip crease. So hook, draw the hip down and back. Feel the right foot as you side bend over to your right. Reach the left arm up and across. Now get as much space as you can with that left arm as you start to reach forward and twist and reach forward and twist and forward and twist and then hook the elbow to the outer right knee. Pull the right hip back with your right, hip, right thumb just a little more. Dive in a little bit deeper and then close hands to heart center like prayer pose. Keep your twist. Let the elbows flare a little bit. If this is uh, fatiguing on the wrists, use fists instead. Think if every exhale allows you to roll a little bit deeper into this twist. Back of the skull in line with the spine. Back thigh is strong. And then release the hands down to the earth. Turn and walk it into your wide-legged forward fold. And then walk the hands over to your left leg. Catch a hold onto the left shin or ankle. Hook the right hand around the outer leg. Spin your ribs, spin your navel to the left, send your left arm to the sky. Turn the palm and wrap the hand behind you. Catch a hold on to either the hip, the waist, or the thigh. Find a balance between spinning your ribs open, making space, and also drawing into this forward fold twist. Slide the left arm back down. Turn and walk it back to lunge. Face the front of your yoga mat. Spin the left heel to the floor. Front heel to back arch. Warrior two. Inhale, windmill all the way up. In our warrior two, we're going to work a little outer shoulder work. Reach the arm straight forward. Bring your left arm underneath your right for eagle arms. This is inaccessible for your shoulders. Instead of holding hands, hold the shoulders. Straighten the front leg and exhale, fold in. Okay, inhale, straighten the leg again. Exhale, bend the knee and drop. And then again, inhale, straighten. And exhale, lunge. Inhale, straighten like 90%. Exhale and lunge. One more time. Straighten the leg. And then lunge. Now hold your warrior two with your eagle arms. A little more space. Think about moving the top of the arm bone forward. Good. And then open the arms back out to warrior two. Keep your lunge. Hands come on down. Connecting vinyasa right away. If another chaturanga is not a great idea for your shoulders, skip it. Take down dog. Your home practice, take what you need from it. Same work. We're going to repeat it on the left side. From down dog, inhale, raise the left leg. So our pigeon hover. Bring the left ankle toward the right wrist. Open your hip, hover forward. Inhale and reach it back. One-legged dog. Pigeon hover. Bring it forward. Inhale, reach it back up, one-legged dog. One more time, bring it forward, pigeon hover, hold. Inhale, reach up nice and strong. Step forward, find your lunge. Feel the weight on both of your feet, broaden your stride, rise up, crescent pose, big breaths. Take a second here, find your crescent. Find your balance on your back tiptoes, heel lifts. Left thumb goes to the hip crease. Feel the weight in your left leg and side bend over to the left. Spin open the right ribs first. Now keep as much space as you possibly can as you reach and turn, reach and turn, reach and turn and hook the elbow to the outer left thigh. Plug that left hip back in just a little more and then bring the hands to heart center. Good. Press away from the thigh. 
spin your navel, spin your heart a little more. And as you get closer to the inner left thigh, imagine you are closing the gap between your right underarm, your right armpit, and that left thigh. All three parts of your spine rotating. And then exhale and return the hands to the floor, all the way to the right side, wide-legged straddle. Take the hands over to your right leg. Catch a hold. Left hand grips the outer leg, shin, or ankle. Spin your ribs open. Turn your belly to the inner right thigh and wrap the right arm around the back. Strike a balance between this twist and fold to the leg, but also opening your ribs and finding a little more space in your upper shoulder. Draw the kneecaps up to the thighs. Stay strong in your legs and resolute in your breathing. Unwind the arm, turn and walk it back into lunge at the top of your mat. Set up for warrior two, spin the back heel all the way to the floor. Take an inhale and back stroke all the way up. Take a second here in warrior two, find your stride. Sweep the arms forward in front of you. Take the right arm under your left for eagle arms or find shoulders. Now take an inhale and straighten the leg. Exhale and lunge. Inhale, straighten and lift. Exhale and lunge. Inhale, lift, exhale and lunge. Inhale, lift, and lunge. Inhale and lift, and drop into your lunge. Hold this lunge. Think about creating more space, a sense of broadening in between your shoulder blades, right at the top of the spine. Open up the arms to warrior two. Take the hands to the floor, step it back. Vinyasa or down dog, closing up this first sequence. Big breaths, big inhales, big exhales. From the tiptoes, lift up tall. Look forward, step or hop to the top of your mat, find a halfway lift. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, rise to standing, reach the arms overhead, and then hands to heart. All right, simple standing balance here just to open the hips. Stand in your left leg. Take the right ankle across onto your left thigh, figure four. Send the seat back and reach the arms forward. Good. As you find more weight in your heel, let the tailbone drop and get heavier. Good. Take another round or two of breath here. Come on up and release. Find your right foot, cross your left ankle on top of the thigh. Sit bones back, arms reach in the opposite direction. As though you are pulling in two opposite directions. Hips back, arms lengthen. Navel in. Focus in on the right foot. Come on up, step it down. Legs together, Utkatasana, chair pose, nice and strong. Hands to heart center, sit the seat down a little bit more. Big exhalation, twist to your right, revolve chair pose, looking over toward the right upper corner of your mat, down to the floor. Weight shift onto your right foot, lift your left heel, start to step the left foot back into revolved crescent or revolve lunge pose. If you need to, you can drop the back knee down. Amplification, dive in a little bit deeper. Open floor to ceiling, left arm snuggles down to the outer ankle, your left outer shoulder all the way to the outer leg. Arms down to the floor, step it back, down dog. All right, so we're gonna deepen our outer hip stretch here in down dog a little differently. Bend your left knee, sink the right heel straight back. Spin the right heel diagonally into the left. Take your hands and just shorten up your down dog. Not a forward fold, just a shorter down dog. Okay, nice strong arms here. 
You're going to keep your right hand onto your yoga mat. Reach your left hand diagonally back and grab onto your right ankle. Think about snuggling up that left knee onto your upper outer arm. Good. Press the right hand forward into your yoga mat. Pull the hips back and let yourself, let your chest turn open into this. And then release. Inhale, raise your right leg again. Look forward, shorter step forward, not all the way through, just to the back of the hands. Shorter step. It's going to feel weird. Spin the back heel to the floor, straighten your right leg. Fold a big, long reach in your pyramid pose, Parsvottanasana. Hands can be to blocks or hands can be to earth. Let the arms be an extension of your spine, hips nice and tall. And then preparing for a twist here. Left hand goes to the floor. You can come to fist or fingertips or block. Right thumb hooks again into your hip crease. Important to do this step. Pull the hip back, lengthen your side waist, spin your heart open, and now send your right arm to the ceiling. Revolved triangle pose. Back heel is still to the floor. Best you can do. Legs are straight. Inner thigh is squeezing in like scissors, pulling into the center. Navel is working to twist, and you're breathing into the back body. Right hand comes to your hips. Hold your twist. Bend your front knee. Send your left arm forward and diagonal, straight forward in front of the shoulder, and start to weight shift. Lift your left leg, hip height. Revolved half moon. Twist open your chest. Send your right arm up to the ceiling. Leg is like a warrior three. Left hand is like a standing splits, but you're in a twist. Right hand comes down to the floor. Step into forward fold. Shake it out. Ring it out. All right, big deep breaths in, be deep exhales out. Let's come to standing and we'll take this on our left side. Start with Utkatasana chair pose. Bend the knees, drop your hips, send your arms forward and alongside the ears. We're gonna prepare for our twist here. First, bring the hands to heart center. Elongate your spine on inhalation. Drop the hips, exhale, twist to your left. Find that connection between the arm and thigh first. Now use it. Push knee into arm, arm into knee. Find your left foot. Start to tiptoe or big step right foot back into revolved crescent. Good. You can hold. You can modify by dropping the knee or amplify. Dive in deeper. Take that right arm down to the floor. Open floor to ceiling. Now watch out that right shoulder likes to pop off of the leg to the inner thigh. We should keep that outer right shoulder to the outer knee. Use the arm against the knee like armpit to the outer knee. Spin the ribs, lift the gaze, another breath. Hand to the floor. Step it back, down dog. Take a second. From down dog, bend your right knee, left heel is going to sink straight back. Spin the left heel in diagonally. Walk the hands back just maybe a hand length, a couple inches. Left hand stays firm against the mat. Right arm reaches diagonally back. Find your left ankle. Catch a hold. Spin your ribs. Lengthen your hip bone up and back. Turn open into this twist. Like left arm is going to pull that mat forward. Get a big side bend. Think about snuggling the right knee against that right arm like crow. And unwind. Down dog, you're going to lift the left leg, and it's a shorter step forward, so not all the way through. Go to the back of the hand. Come to your fingertips or blocks. Spin the back heel down. Straighten the legs. And fold the ribs over your thigh. Take just a couple moments here to relax in Pyramid Parsvottanasana. And then lift your chest, preparing for a revolved triangle, right hand to the ground, left thumb to the hip crease, pull back, turn open, keep your legs nice and strong, navel strong, send the left arm up, Parivruta Trikonasana, revolved triangle, head in line with hips, 
Tone the inner thigh, turn open. Another strong exhalation here. We're going to prepare for a revolved half moon. So I want you to keep your twist. Bring your top hand onto your top hip. Bend your left knee. Reach the right arm forward. Shoulder over hand. Good. Back leg lifts. Spin your ribs open again. Drive back through the heel. Turn the heart. Good. Gaze over to the side if you can. Another strong breath. And then release the hand. Step it on down into forward fold. Good. All right. Inhale. Rise all the way up to standing. Reach the arms up overhead. And then bring the hands to heart. We're going to find another standing balance. Okay. Our deepest standing balance here. Continuation on figure four. Cross your left ankle on your right thigh. Sink the hips back. Okay, start by bringing your hands to heart center. Stage one of this is to drop in a little bit deeper. Stage two, right hand onto the right, uh, onto your left foot, top foot. Stage three, now think revolve chair. Start to dive in, left elbow if you can, all the way to the bottom of your foot. If, again, if this is too much, just take hand to foot. Head and hips in the same line. Foot pushes against the arm. Arm pushes against the foot. Unwind. Come up to standing. And step it on down. Good. Opposite side. Revolve figure four. Right ankle crosses to left thigh. Hips sink back. Hands go to heart. Again, just test the waters here to get it started. Left hand goes onto that. Uh, top right foot. Exhale. Think twisted chair. Dive in. See if you can get the upper arm or maybe the elbow onto the bottom of the foot. Keep the gaze to one spot. Spin your chest open. Externally rotate. Open your right hip a little more. Find your heels. Unwind. Stand all the way up and step it down. Nice work. Inhale, arms are going to lift up and overhead. Forward fold on the exhale. Option just to take a vinyasa or child's pose. Those who would like to work a little arm balance, we're ready for bakasana into our connecting vinyasa. Plant your hands. Bring your knees up against your upper arm bone. Arm bone presses against the knees. Point the toes. Lift the heels. Keep your gaze forward. Step or jump it back. Move through your vinyasa. We'll find our down dog together. We're going to repeat a little bit of that pigeon hover work. So lift the right leg. Ankle to your left wrist, pigeon hover. Inhale, lift back up, one-legged dog. Exhale, pigeon hover. Inhale, back up. Now this time, exhale, pigeon hover, stay forward. Find pigeon pose. Lower the shin. Good. Lengthen your back leg back. All right, so slightly different variation here on your pigeon pose. If this feels okay, come down onto your left forearm and walk your left hand on top of the right knee. Just come to right fingertips, kind of walk it away from the right leg a little bit. Instead of just collapsing over your right thigh, press your left forearm into the earth. Turn and lift your chest just a little bit more. Spin open to the right inner knee. And then unwind your twist. Turn off to the upper left corner of your yoga mat. Stretch the arms out. Just take a fold in the opposite direction.
and then go ahead and lift it back up. Walk it back to center. Drop onto your right hip, slide your left leg forward. We're gonna to come to a seated forward fold. So please cross your right ankle on top of your left thigh. So very similar to what you just did in pigeon pose. And now this will be the seated version of the standing balance we just took. So we're gonna start this simple, okay? Um, you're gonna walk your left foot forward a little bit. And then you're gonna readjust, catch a hold onto the outer right foot with your right hand. Left fingertips behind you, take a little twist, just like you do a good seated twist. Stage one, you stay there. Otherwise, start to lift the arm, turn the chest. See if you can take the forearm, elbow, or upper arm to the base of the foot. Now you don't wanna twist so hard that you're pushing the foot off of your thigh. I want you to push the foot against the arm as well. Use that to spin the sternum a little bit more. Some weight can be on your back arm, not too much. Unwind, catch a hold onto the foot with your right hand. Turn your chest back forward, slide your left leg long. Switch, left hand is gonna to go to that right foot. Right fingertips go behind your back. Turn the opposite direction. Straighten the right leg just like you do for revolved triangle. Stage one, left foot stays to the ground. Okay. Lift the foot just a little bit higher. Tone the inner thighs, pull the navel in. And you can start to weight shift and send your right hand off of the ground straight back. If all feels well, left foot comes off the earth. Hover hold, best you can. See if even just for a second. And then down you go. Unwind. Look back forward and release that right leg. All right, cross the shins, lean forward. Find downward facing dog just for a second. Okay, we will ring this out. Inhale forward, find plank pose. Come on down, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And exhale, down dog. Whole sequence left side, lift the leg. Pigeon hover, take it across. Inhale, reach the leg up. And exhale, pigeon hover, take it across. And inhale again, lift it back up. And one more time, pigeon hover, hold, right into pigeon, take it down. Lengthen your back leg. Take a couple breaths here. All right, again, so if this feels great, stay here or test out the waters. Bring your right forearm down to the floor. Catch a hold onto the left knee with the right hand. Just bring the left fingertips away from the chest a little bit. Good. And then instead of just collapsing over that leg, like we often do in pigeon, press away the earth. Spin your chest open a little bit. Make this more of an active twist. And unwind, turn it over to the upper right corner of your mat, stretch the arms out, and then let yourself fold in here. And then go ahead and come on up. All right, drop onto the left hip, slide the right leg forward. Okay, so we're gonna cross the left ankle on top of the right thigh. Same leg that was in pigeon. You're gonna lean back on the hands a little bit, but try to keep the chest up. And you might have to walk the right foot forward just a little bit away from the hips to make this happen. Okay, and we're gonna keep the right hand down to the floor behind the back. Turn, take your left hand onto that top left foot. Okay, stage one, just stay right here, enjoy. Otherwise, just like you do for a seated twist, lift the left arm, exhale, dive in a little bit deeper. See if you can get the upper outer arm against the bottom of the foot. Again, you will more than likely lean a little bit against that back hand. Can you try to weight shift off of it just a little bit? Couple breaths here.
and then unwind. And then look back forward, hold on to the left leg with the left hand, straighten your right leg, switch hands, find the leg with your right arm, left fingertips behind you. Turn your ribs just like you do for your revolved triangle, straighten the leg, open your chest, we're turning in the opposite direction. Good. So the ribs and navel keep spinning open to the left. When all feels fine, you can weight shift and lift the back arm. Tone the thighs and lift the right leg. Hover hold, best you can. Nice strong core. And then down that leg goes. Unwind. And simply release. Good. Here's where a strap or a towel or tie comes in handy. We're going to be doing some leg stretches on our back. So go ahead and find anything you do want for your Shavasana nearby, um, as well as that strap, if legs are a little tight. Okay, we'll give cues if you do not have a strap. No problem, this can be done either way. Start with the knees bent, take the right knee in. Now you're either gonna loop up the bottom of your right foot with a strap or towel or tie, or index and middle finger grab the big toe. Okay, another just at home option is just to take the hands, interlace them behind the thigh or the calf. Straighten the left leg forward. Good. Though you're gonna be mostly focused on what your right leg is doing, try to keep your left leg somewhat active so it's not just hanging out there. Now take the strap or uh, arm and open your right leg out to your right side. So an external hip opener here. If you are holding onto the leg with your hand, just simply support the leg with your right hand. Another breath here. Soften into the exhale. Inhale and bring that right leg back up. We're going to hold onto the leg with the left hand. So you're either going to grab the strap, whatever you got with your left hand, or foot with your left hand, or the outer leg with your left hand. I'd like you just to cross it about six to eight inches to your left. So not all the way into a twist. You are still upright, right? Your chest and your hips are still facing the ceiling. Your outer right hip is still on the earth. This is like an on your back pyramid pose or revolve triangle pose. Relax the shoulders. Should be a nice stretch for the outer hip. And go ahead and start to unwind. Let go of the right leg. Simply slide it on down. All right, second side. Go ahead, bend the knees, bring the left knee into the chest. Again, loop up or catch a hold onto the big toe or just simply interlace hands behind the left thigh. When you're ready, send the left leg up and send your right leg forward. And then left hand again either on that strap or on the foot. Right arm can be your counterweight. Go ahead and open up your left leg to your left side and let yourself find just a little bit of an external rotation stretch opening up through the left outer hip. A couple moments here just to let the inner thigh find some space. Breathe deep.
and then bring it back up. Hold the strap or the leg with the right hand and then cross it just a few inches to your right. Again, we wanna still keep our hips on the earth and your chest still facing up to the ceiling. And just let yourself twist with the leg. And then go ahead and bring it back up and release it down. Full bodied stretch. Send the arms up, the legs forward. Then draw the knees into the chest. Straighten the legs up toward the ceiling. Slide the hands at your sides or out wide. Just keep the legs up, okay? Just a simple propless version of legs up at the wall. Gentle core reintegration. And just hold here a couple, couple breaths. This is nothing crazy, no need to go crazy with the core, just find it. One at a time, let your legs come back to earth. Grab your props. If you do have a little more time and you wanna to migrate to your wall or wherever you use your legs up at the wall, uh, go for it. Find any props that you love, bolsters, pillows, eye pillows, blankets, be comfortable. Okay. Set aside time if you can truly encourage you to give yourself this down regulation time. Great to have time to do active yoga and to stretch and strengthen, but also as important, if not more important, to let your mind release to relax. Dive into that music. Enjoy a little stillness. Seven, eight minutes if you can or longer is even better. As always, we're going to let this video come to a close. Enjoy your rest, our hearts, deeply with so much gratitude to each one of you. Thank you for your practice. Thank you for being with us. Namaste.